That's crazy. Is this not oh there it is just took a minute <laughs> not unlucky craft what's up how's it going uh... all right let's see what we're doing here See, we want to try the 110. The 110s. See how they do for us. Apparently, they've been good for some folks. 110FO3. So, we need to put minnows on that. I mean, put hooks on that. And the 110FO6. There's no way I don't have any of those made, right? There it is. What hooks are on there, though? Yeah, it's, 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 the right, it's the right hook. It's not furry ones, is it? Happy... Th no, that's not furry. Okay. So, we need to go to balsa. I think we're going to use two of those, right? And if that's the case, we need to craft another one. All right, we want two O hooks, and we want them to be non-furry. You got a big Luga on, oh my goodness. Yeah, I may need to change those out, Zach. You're right. Those aren't the best quality of hooks, right? Alright, so there's that one. And then we need to make a 110... Three. I think I want to use another three. Wait, I thought we no longer had to do hooks. We don't. We, in fact, don't. Yeah, we need some more hooks. I'm going to buy them instead of looking for them on other lures just because that's annoying. At some point, I probably should go through and just get rid of, I mean, there's so many hooks that just have good, so many lures that have good hooks on them, right? Instead of spending $200 to re-hook a few lures, or hook up a few lures. All right, so we want to go to the 110... And this one, we want to put the other two O's on there. And this one. Okay. So we'll put the brown and pink on the left. Wait. It's a favorite, isn't it? Yeah. Did I actually change the hooks? Yeah. And then the other... What color is this one? Is it like white or silver or something?
with a little bit of red. All right. Let me get chat back up here. Um, you've seen two to three, 400 plus kilos. Wow. <laughs> Rise Siza. You have several questions. You just need to remember them. Sounds good. Just let me know. All right. So we're going to do type A boat. And we're actually just going to go troll. Where are we trolling? Here? I think it's the 37. Is that right? I'm just going to try this one route. No, 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 no. It's way under that. It's actually the 13. So we're going to go from just past the edge of the 13 to this edge of this 13. So what's that? 4E to the start of 4G. So it's not a very, it's not a very um, big area. So it's a lot of turning around, but I guess that's okay. Wait, what? 110003 all the way south, the thing that looks like a V. Is there a downside of fishing small fish is using really strong rigs? Uh, yeah. I mean, the downside is that you're using bigger lines. So it's more visible lines. So you might scare away the more cautious small fish. And it just depends on how the game is programmed, right? But in general, I would say, I mean, you can have stronger gear. But if it's a cautious fish, especially... It, how thick your line is could impact it a little bit. Um, all right, so Razor, you're telling me a different spot, aren't you? I was just going to go try this spot really nearby. Oh, I guess if it doesn't work out, we could head down somewhere else. Let me see if other people are talking about the spot you're talking about. All right, here's another one, but this is just south of the Eastern Islands. That's not a V area. There's another one. This one has us going like all the way across the top. That's a much longer route if we wanted to do a longer route. There's the, this one's west of the left, I mean, yeah, left of the West Islands. Most people are talking about this top spot. I'm not saying you're wrong, Razor. Your spot might be even better for all I know, but. Wait, what are you saying? What's up, Ziga? You're going to go there now? All right, let me know how it goes. South of F9 to G9. Oh, that's way down there. All right, F9 to G9. Oh, you're talking about this little V? Is that what you're talking about? The, the lighter area, the shallower area, or the darker? South of F9, G9, that's like down there. Um, and you're using the 110.003. I'm using the 110.006 and the 110.003 times two. Okay. All right. So we're just going to head uh, north. Absolutely. Thanks for uh, thanks for the support of watching all those vids. I appreciate it. Glad it was helpful. In a lot of ways, I mean, you do learn some things in the game, and sometimes it works. But I mean, sometimes it just feels like we're all sort of stumbling along, and sometimes stumble onto things that work better than other things. But The 006 works good as well. Yeah, Razor. I need to do more of that, actually. I've got some time tonight. So after the stream, I either want to do another police vid episode. Those are actually... That game's kind of fun. And it certainly has some funny moments. Or I want to do... I thought about trying to do some more, like, 
Hearthstone content. I know for most of you that probably interests you not at all, but um, I enjoy Hearthstone. I mean, I just enjoy card games and board games and stuff anyway. So playing the duels mode of Hearthstone has always been like something that's fun to me. I just haven't done it in a long time. So I don't know. We'll see. Just something to kind of weave in along with the fishing stuff so that I don't get burnt out on just the fishing stuff. Uh, right now there's not too much wind, which is great. Hopefully that keeps up. Let's see. We want to, let me look at the boat here. We want to go pretty much straight east, I think. And we're not going to catch much probably overnight here, I don't think. But yes, that police simulation video game is really quite interesting. I just hope they keep doing more content and stuff for it. But it's got some potential for sure. Um, what will happen if you use the quad bike and you drive into the water? It will spawn you back to the very beginning of where you spawn in on that map. And it'll reset all of your gear and it'll reset the quad bike. So it just resets everything. What's up, Fish Swamper? Welcome back. Unlike, what's the other game? Oh, Fisher Online. If you teleport in Fisher Online, it doesn't necessarily reset your gear. But if you get teleported in RF4, it is a hard reset. That is a big ripus. I think we could. Um, oh, it is clipped. Never mind. The Luga is so boring, not flipping or anything. One forty two eighty nine clip twenty in Sura is popping. Is that right? How is the bite rate? Is it streamable? In other words, am I gonna be bored to tears sitting there streaming, or is it a good enough bite rate that it could handle streaming from there? Does that make sense? One forty two eighty nine. Uh okay, I'm seeing it on VK. 142.89 J5 20 clip interesting okay thank you I will keep that in mind that might be a good uh, second spot for tonight dude post a trophy silver there in RF4 discord so let me see if I can find that in the RF4 discord I'm curious what they were using Is that going to be under, let's see, trophies, I'm guessing? How far back was it? That's grass. Oh, there it is. All right, so what were they using? Three odd hooks, pineapple, and lemon. Really? So you're catching, what, blackheads and silvers on that bait? Now that's interesting. All right, the next question is, where is that on the map? Oh, I see it. Yeah, that's that spot. It's just past that little river. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe we'll do that. That could be cool. That could be cool. Wilds and commons as well. 
Did you read the latest developer Q&A? Ziga, I don't think I did. Answer on one question about overfeeding was, we do not want to give more details on this. <laughs> okay. You got a 43 kilo big head, Ziga? Dang. That's a monster. Did you, um, did you have concerns of getting spooled? Or were you able to kind of control it? That's a big boy. It's first on the global. Let me see what um, let me see what we uh, what bait you caught that big head on. Oh, you went twenty eighteen. So would you advise going all three twenty eighteen or just one, Ziga? I want to have a good bite rate though, you know? I don't want to do anything to kill my bite rate, even if I lit risk a bigger fish. Because if I'm going to do it while I'm streaming, now I can do it after my stream when I can tab out and do other stuff. I think I'll go 15, 14 on at least a couple of the rods. You know what I mean? Just one with big? Yeah, I'll try that. I I'm down for that. Yeah. Where are we? Oh, yeah. I was trying to see how long it was going to take us to go this distance trolling. A little smelt. It's funny. This, you know, this cardinal really does not cast very far. But the test is from 26 grams, right? And this is about 10 grams too low. The test on the um, the rod is close. It's almost the same as the balsa minnow. Slightly, slightly penalized, but what I'm really getting penalized for is the test on the cardinal. Um. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I would love to look at this, Ziga. Thank you for, for um, whispering that. Ziga did it the right way, y'all. You can't um, you can't post a link in chat, but you can whisper it to me through Twitch. And if it checks out, I can post it for everybody. All right, here's the Q&A. Is rare trophy and super trophy the same thing? Yes, that is correct. Rare trophy and super trophy are the same thing. At that point, if somebody uses that language, as far as I know, they're talking about a blue tag versus the the yellow or golden trophies. Oh my goodness. Big fish, maybe. Recently, come on. Different feed mixes do not override each other, but instead create a combined feeding spot. What? Is that true? We've been wrong this whole time because of translation errors? Are you kidding me? That's amazing. The feeding area created this way affects all three rods if used at the same spot. Of course, of course. The categories for particle sizes were wrong. I don't know what that means. You need to give more information, right? It just says the categories for particle size. When were they? Oh, is this... In response, okay, here's the actual Q&A. That's cool. More, more visible signs of life on the water. I support that change. I think the more you can do to make the game feel alive, the better, more fun it is. Update water bodies, yeah, of course. Um, customization. Looks like we're heading in that direction slowly, though. Notes on the map, that would be huge. That'd, that'd be a great quality of life thing. Get people staying in-game more than having to go out of game for notes and stuff. Sure, try to break the pattern. I mean, again, all weeklies and stuff, all that is is... Um, Oftentimes, all that is is self-fulfilling self prophecy, right? Does everybody understand what I mean by that? I mean, when you go and you look at the weekly lures, 
and you load up those same lures like I just did, does that mean that those lures are working better than anything else? No. It just means you're a part of self-fulfilling prophecy at that point. There might be another lure that would work just as well or even better, but that does require testing and time and all that. So I totally, I mean, I've always thought that, that there's a lot of self-fulfilling prophecy happening with the, um, with the weeklies list, which is fine. That's the same thing that happens in real life, right? You go to a lake and you're like, yo, buddy, hey, what's working? And they're like, oof, you know, red topwaters are popping off this season. And so everybody's like, red topwaters, popping off. Go get your red topwaters out. Might other things be working? Holy cow, did y'all see that fish jump? Hello? What just happened? It jumped while it was still in the rod holder. Have I ever seen that before? Question mark. Stinking pike, man. The only new stuff spam is for big particle mixes. Wait, I got to think about what that means. Spam. Spam is for big particle mixes. Wrong one. Spam is for big particle mixes. Are we saying in comparison to spod? Or whatever the other one's called? Yeah, spod. It has to do with the size of the particle mixes. Is that what we're saying? I haven't finished reading. I may get to that. What's up, shoot cute? You got a nine kilo pike and sir on UL yesterday? Oh man, that's lucky fish swamper that you can get a bite through. Have I seen any, wait, have you seen any VTuber streaming this game? Have I seen any, are there other YouTubers that stream the game? Is that what you're asking me? I mean, there certainly have been at times. I can't say like right this minute if there are, um, cause so many streamers kind of come and go with streaming the game. A lot of people either do twi you know, either stream or either do YouTube. And then I think more and more people are trying to do both a little bit since you can just upload your stream. Some people even stream from YouTube. Sorry, this is a complicated answer, but I'm not sure. I I'm not sure right now at the moment how many current YouTubers are also streaming. Nice, shoot cute. Good luck to you. It's number one in other regions. Oh, nice. Let me see if I have any fish on, and then we'll read a little bit more here for a second. Oh, what is VTubers? No, I have no idea what that is. Sorry, maybe I don't understand the question. My bad. Apparently, I don't understand. What are VTubers? Do I want to know what VTubers are? Introduction of Quest is not planned. Okay, so it's something they're working on, but it's not planned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, spam, large fractioned ground baits. Small fractioned ground baits for spod. So I haven't been doing that right at all. So if I'm using large particles, then we need to do spam. If we're doing like little, you know, typical ground bait ingredients that are going to be much smaller particles, we need to do spot. I've got to remember that and change my habit there because I'm not doing that right. I'm going to have to read this more. I'll, I'll, I'll read it. I'll read it as their time. Right now we've got a fish on couple fish on VTubers referred to as virtual talent what oh no I, I don't I don't know anything about that and I don't know if there's any people that are doing that with RF4 interesting question though you've owned four of the five top UL pike for Sura that's awesome that's cool 
you want to divide your feeding into big and small mixes. Oh, so you think even if... That's a nice Atlantic, by the way. Even if... Okay, that's interesting. So if you're using spa, uh, SPOM, you only want to use big particles? Is that what you're saying? Interesting. And if, you, if you're using spa, uh, SPOD, you only want to use small particles. Okay, interesting. So they have more effectiveness. Yeah, it did say that it cuts down on the effectiveness if you're using the wrong size particle or whatever. That is really weird. It's just so different than how I've thought of it in the past. That'll take some like reprogramming of my brain. I just was using spa spam in my uh, video I uploaded today, earlier today, in fact, and I had all small particles, so it was less effective than it would have been if I'd spot uh, spotted it. Spot? Yeah. Hmm. Yes, patty cake. That is what the Q&A seems to indicate is that if you're using large particles, so like if you're feeding with a bunch of boilies and big pellets and that kind of stuff, you want to use SPOM. If you're feeding with smaller particles like typical ground bait ingredients, smaller pellets, maybe small boilies, I don't know, you want to use SPOD. And if you use the wrong size particles in the wrong SPOM or SPOD, you decrease its effectiveness, apparently. I think how I just answered it is maybe as close as we're going to get to an exact answer on what makes large and small. Uh, if somebody knows different, let me know. But I don't think they specifically say, holy cow. I don't think they specifically say this is the cutoff point. I have been living <laughs> that little fractional part of my RF4 life. I have been living a lie as well. <laughs> uh, I'm not a huge, I don't use that stuff a ton anyway. I'd like to use it more. So it's good timing for me to better understand it now. All right, the bite rate here seems good, although, you know, I'm always a little suspicious because this is the time of day where the bite rate's gonna be the best, right? This and evening. Seismic says, I think Red Rock Panda. Okay, so you're saying because Red Rock Panda uses that like fake character, like that whatever representation of himself, or not even of himself, um, that that would be considered a VTuber? You know what I mean? I, that really was not meant at a, as a diss. I'm just saying that's it's not like that animated character is a representation of what Red Rock Panda looks like in real life. It may be a representation of you know his Twitch name or his favorite something. I have no idea, but you know what I mean. I'm a little old for this conversation. Probably a little old, a little out of touch. I don't really know what I'm talking about. Oh, he is a cool dude. I love Red Rock Panda. I've always enjoyed watching his content and he's always been super cool when he's come in and chilled when I've been streaming or whatever. Super cool dude.
And I wouldn't just say that if I didn't mean it. I wouldn't say something bad about someone, but I would just not go into any detail if I didn't have an opinion one way or another. I genuinely mean that about Red Rock. I mean, y'all know. Y'all have seen me hanging out with Red Rock. Y'all know that I enjoy hanging out with Jake and Phil. Uh, I mean, there's just so some people in the community that I've connected with or whatever. And that's not a knock against other people in the community. I just haven't had the chance to connect with everyone. And some of those people don't even play the game anymore. All right, so far so good. But again, this has been, this is not necessarily su sustainable given the time of day. <laughs> Red Rock looks like America, Jake. That's funny. It's hard to find enough English speaking YouTuber streamers that play RF4. Yeah. No, we're there's been times where there's been there's been more, I would say, more set established English speaking communities, right? Um, and then there's times where there's more of a lull, right? We need other folks to start streaming it or whatever. I assume that there is no copyright issue with that rise because that program is made I mean there's a program right like I think you can even get it on Steam I've certainly seen it on Humble Bundle before again somebody let me know if I'm talking incorrectly here but if my understanding of it is correct that's something that you actually it's meant to be purchased by people that want to use it when streaming and stuff like that so I don't think there's any any copyright issues with that as far as I know Failed Q, greetings. Yeah, that's what I felt too, shoot cute. Yeah, I thought so, Fish Whomper. Our smelts 10 grams too small or something like that. Arch is super good for silver. Yeah, it seems like it. Seems like. I mean, so far, again, you know, small sample size, but even just this one spot has seemed to have been pretty, pretty good. Um, Pamico, thanks for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Tight lines, all that good stuff. Uh, that's weird. Hold on, Razor. I got you. Wait, how much? How big was the Luga? One forty-five. Wow. Wow, Zers. Um. P U P O dead. Greetings. Welcome. Oh, I'm just understanding your, your comment there, Midget. Okay, he streams Eastern Truck... No, Eastern. European Truck Simulator 2 as himself. Gotcha. So no panda when he's playing the old truck sim. I was just talking about that game. Buddy of mine, who I've known forever. Um, I, some of y'all may have seen... I, I don't know. If you've been around for years and years, Artrex from Artrex Gaming used to hang out with me a lot and and we still i mean on stream even but he really he's played this like casually every once in a while but mostly like if i'm playing mmos and stuff like that but anyway he loves racing games and he really enjoys 
uh, ETS2 and ATS. There you go. You can do it, Ziga. Red Rock 2 could be you. Is Steel Series a good reel for salmon here? Yes. Uh, I think you're fine with that. I think you have a lot of options, but I think that one is fine. Um, as with almost any setup you use here, the only thing to remember is that you are going to occasionally, you are going to occasionally hit a nasty Baltic sturgeon. Okay, I mean, look at this. These are the same lures people were using at the time for salmon. And when you hit one of those, it's just going to be a long, painful death, especially if you ha don't have really strong gear. But as long as you're okay with that, you know, losing that lure, fighting that fish for an hour and a half, potentially still not getting it in, or hitting Alt F4, as long as you're okay with that, then yeah, you're fine with the Steel Series. You can chase those salmon down. We also have Ladoga sturgeon that get pretty big. They can also come on some of the same lures you might use for salmon. Is there anything else that just totally wrecks your day here? I think those are the two fish. The Ladoga sturgeon and especially the Baltic sturgeon. And these really stink, right? You can hit a 50 kilo Baltic sturgeon. Totally ruins, changes your, your day. And then it's not even worth that much, right? Yes, I agree with that, Ziga. If you know for sure that's what it is, I, I have a hard time letting go. I just want to try to get the fish in. But it is smart decision to not just sit there and fight a Baltic for a day and a half and then still not get it in or whatever. Push them to the island. That's interesting. That's interesting. Well, all I know is I can tell you what you don't do. And what you don't do is just chase it and not pay attention to where you are. And then it leaves Challenge. the map and slowly spools you. Challenge accepted. Hey, Rise Seisma, thank you for the sub. I appreciate the support. Welcome. I uh, hope you enjoy your new digital emotes or whatever. And uh, But I really appreciate the support. Thank you. No, no worries. Thanks. You know, just so you know, future reference, just, just hanging out, watching the content that's support enough, but I do really appreciate it. Yeah. That, and I, to be fair, I did do that razor. Once I saw that I wasn't going to get it back on the map. I, um, but you know, the, the, the hard thing is at that point I had been fighting it for so long. It had done a significant amount of a little bit of damage, uh, to the equipment. So it's just a lose-lose at that point. You got a 48 kilo and it's only 200 silver. That's exactly right, Ziga. You got to get back on Fishing Planet and do some steelhead fishing. Nice, shoot, cute. Hey, this new uh, this new Fishing Planet river that's coming out. Is it a river or a lake? I think it's a river. Uh, looks good. I'm excited for it. I saw, I think it was KP did some sort of preview. I'll probably cover it a little bit once it actually releases. But um, at least the type of the fish that are on that river are more interesting to me than the, like, the last three maps have all been those Amazon things, right? I don't know if there's a release date, shoot cute, but it's going to be soon. When they get to this point where they're like letting KP and people, you know, do the preview videos, I think it's usually pretty quick after that. Pretty quick after that. Ladoga Lake is where I repair my Tagaras, right? That's a good question, Failed Q. Is that the way to go? If it is, that's not always what I do. Sometimes I'll just drop everything off at Volkov. Um... But I'm not saying that's the bet. I mean, that shop might be the cheapest. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll show you, Razor. I'll show you the map, and I'll also just kind of show you exactly what I'm doing. So you see this 13 hole here. 
We're, we're really just staying right on top of it. Once we're past it, I turn around. Once we're past it over here, about halfway down E4, I'm turning back around. So far, it seems fine. Yeah, no problem. 25 kilo grass. Nice! Um, you know what? At, at the level that you're at, and the fact that you're using a Proton 6000, which isn't, in the grand scheme of things... That's not that expensive of gear. So I think it's worth it just for the experience for you as you're leveling up to have successfully gotten a fish in that size on undersized gear. Like, good for you. You know what I mean? So technically, is it worth it? Probably not. I don't know. But who cares? We're not talking about the most expensive gear anyway. And that's a great experience that you had getting that fish in. Grass carp are notoriously not worth it, but uh, it gives you a lot of experience, both in-game and just a good experience for you to have as you're leveling. So that's what I would say. I like it. Level 20 saving for the HSV. Did we just get a fish on the line? I think we did. See if I can get turned around and... Oof. Wait, why are we spinning? What's going on, guys? Hello? Why are we spinning? I wasn't turning that direction. We were spinning and going backwards, even though the thing said we were going forwards. Hold on. I got to figure this out. Let me get everything out of the water and make sure we're okay here. Fun is often good. I agree with that. Trophy at Bear Lake. Ooh, nice one, Midget Captain. Of course, trophy helps. It makes it a little more worth it because the silver bounces out so much. Yeah, that was magic. It was also kind of disturbing. I'll have to rewatch that. I can't tell if... I think it was... I think I was going backwards all of a sudden. Like the fish maybe... Did something weird to the physics? I'm not sure. I certainly lost control of the boat for a minute, though. The fight was terrifying. You almost got schooled. Oh, I'm sure. That's what I'm saying. Like, such a good experience for you to kind of see that and then successfully be able to get it in. That's awesome. It was a poltergeist. Yeah, that's kind of what it seemed like. Not a bad move if if you have the third rod out already. Yeah. You had your fingers ready for Alt F4. Nice. So you, you took it to the line, huh? I love how calm, you know, Arch, Arch is not ev not always this calm. It's actually really fun trolling here when there's the wind is cooperating. Is it worth the upgrade from alpha to caliber HSV for carps? Yes. So just do one and see what you think. Because I don't. I think different people would answer that differently. For me, and the way I approach carp fishing, yes, it would be worth it. But I think a lot of people might not agree with me. I think you'd get different answers. So my encouragement would be just buy one. The HSVs are great reels. You're not going to be sorry. Ultimately, you're not going to be sorry to have one of them, even if even if you decide that you don't want to upgrade three. So just get one, try it out, see what you think. That's what I would suggest. I mean, if not, what are you saving for? Are you going to get an Avia 8000? 
or are you talking about saving all the way till um all the way till you know tagara bingo whatever and if that's the case that's forever anyway so you might as well get one see what you think people suggest tagara yeah a lot of people are going to tell you that they're going to say Forget everything else, just save till you can get the Tagara, but I don't know. Again, that's why I would suggest if you want to try it, just get one. And then th then decide from there. In the big scheme of things, the cost of a HSV is such a small fraction of the cost of the Tagara. All right, tight lines. Thanks for the sub, Rise, and um, hope you can get some good sleep. Yeah, right, there you go, shoot cute. You can uh, you control with your HSV. It's very versatile. I just I can't imagine someone in the big scheme of things. I can't imagine someone being sorry for having an HSV in their collection. But I could be wrong. <clears throat> yep, I like it, Patty Cake. I agree with that as well. The upgraded caliber is nothing to sneeze at, and I really like the Avia. I think if I was doing it again, I might even get at least one Avia, if not more than one, before saving all the way up to Tagara. But that's because I spend such a big percentage of my time, especially if I was still leveling, I would, uh, carp fishing. I don't do as much spin fishing. I certainly don't go, I mean, it's so rare that I go for sturgeons or anything bigger. So, that's just what I would do, but that doesn't mean it's the right thing. Oh, nice, you're already saving good, that's awesome. Rize! Oh man, how am I going to remember that? Rize. I'm really sorry. You may have to remind me of that. I will do my best, though. <laughs> nice, Dump Maestro. It grew on you, it sounds like. It grew on you a little bit. You think it's really fun that we have two different types of salmon now just that little bit of diversity is it's been a nice nice change Yeah, that's one thing I haven't looked into is the upgraded friction brake on the HSV, but I think some people have done that and, and enjoyed it. I guess if that was my main carp reel, I probably would. Really, Razor? Okay. I feel like the bite rate spit For me, this is just a much better bite rate than what I usually get at Arch. So I'm probably not the best um, best measurement of this because a lot of people have spent a lot more time than I have here and a lot of people have had a lot better luck than I have here.
It's cool seeing the 110s. I haven't used the 110s that often. So it's kind of nice seeing them. Um, getting used here. Yeah, maybe it'll pick up. Being able to stand up in this boat is so cool. Woo! Hello there! Do we need to turn the trolling motor off, probably. Alright, so this is the one that we can put it into high gear and just pull it in maybe I don't think I need to circle this one razor it, it never felt that big to me it's just going to go on a run here or there and then I think we're going to pull it right in Especially with this cardinal. This thing just eats through it, you know? Thankfully, this is a salmon, not a, uh, not a sturgeon or anything like that. Could run again here because we're a little low on energy, but we're right at the end of the line, so hopefully we got him. Oh, did he make it? Did he get away from us? Where's my line? Oh, it's over here. Let's get his nose. Nice. Nice fish. All right. And that was on the, that was on the pink and brown one. <laughs> it did have a 666 in there, didn't it? That's not cool. It's not as nice as, of a fish as I first thought. Colorful. Red char. Alright, we need to uh, put this back on regular gear ratio. Okay. What does that mean, Dump? Dump Maestro? What is the Balsa Minnow spam? People asking for lures? Is that what you mean? Is there a lot of that? I don't think it's so again I don't do this a lot are you sure that it's really necessary to catch fish 
Because like I said, in my opinion, a lot of this is just self-fulfilling prophecy. I guess I could... I guess I could change lures and try to find something else that's working to try to prove the point, but I mean, I haven't done the testing. However, usually when it looks that way, there are other options, but I could be wrong. Hacker Slim Perch Color. There you go. I mean, I've, I'm have i okay with... So to answer your question, I'm okay with the handmade lures being really good. I think there should always be store-bought options that are at least close to being as good. Uh, and if you watch for long enough time, typically what happens is other lures will suddenly come to the top and compete with or even overtake the handmaids. Uh, that's typically been the case. But I mean, I'm glad that some of the handmade lures are actually good because you spend a ton of time and silver leveling up your lure making ability, right? What's up, Wrangler? That's correct. It does cost gold. So, um, definitely should be seen as something that is not necessary to do. I mean, if you really want to try one, you can obviously, you can get one for a very small amount of gold, but an unnecessary thing, if you ask me. Yeah, you know, that's a good point. Getting lures leveled up with the way we understand how to do it now compared to when I leveled mine up and the way I chose to level mine up is a lot cheaper. That's a good point. Just got home. I hate shopping with my grandma. Aw. Treasure that time, Wrangler. There's a lot of pike out here. interesting you were already a hundred percent before you got the expensive knife i love it that just shows how differently you leveled up lures than i did and who knows if uh tying flies are ever a part of lure making who knows what that does to the equation i really don't know the answer to how to how expensive it is now because again People are able to get to 100% using certain lures that um, are just cheaper to make, and they just make you know certain ones over and over. And when I did it, I did everything, you know. So I did the expensive route. That's funny, Wrangler. You did lures in two and a half happy hours. That's amazing. That's a good point too, though. If you're like trying to level up something like lure making, especially quickly, it's that's probably one of those things where it's worth having premium at least while you're doing it. Or when they're doing those free happy hours that they drop on us every once in a while. Do you have an estimate on how much it costs you? I know you're not going to, you probably don't know exactly, but Christmas happy hour. There you go. Yeah, probably both of us Wrangler. I don't know if he's on your friends list or not, but we have both been playing a lot of the show in the last couple of weeks. And I saved up enough of the uh, currency to get a 50 packer. And I think I had two diamonds in that. And then just, we've both gotten just random ones on, you know, packs that we've gotten as rewards. Yeah, no worries. Uh, 
Oh, that's awesome, Wrangler. You know me, I'm just trying to get Braves. I spent so much time unlocking the um, Michael Harris in the Future Stars thing. Oh my goodness, you have all the Live Series cards? I don't have... I hardly have any compared to you then. You made 597 Xander spoons. Wow. Oh, so you sold those, Wrangler? Interesting. Huh. So what do you do with the money that you make from selling those? Buy specific cards that you didn't have or what? Or do you buy packs? Buy other cards. So you have Acuna? Isn't that like crazy expensive though? Trout's expensive too. Trout's like 300,000, isn't he? Four hundred thousand. Uh, MLB the show. Nice. Oh, is that right? Yeah, all I really do, I mean, you obviously have ways of getting stuff really quickly. <clears throat> I just kind of focus in on trying to collect a few Braves, play a few Conquests. I don't know, I don't do that much. It's getting dark out here. Sixteen kilo on triumph, you didn't need to stop, nice. The triumph is stupid strong, yeah. I mean, it's good. If you if you like baseball, it's in my opinion, like really good. But I would agree that it's not like there were any, I mean, no huge changes this year that like makes it significantly better than last year. Oh, I haven't done any online play, to be honest. I didn't know that it weared fast. Does the Triumph wear fast? This is the time of night where sometimes a big Baltic can like ruin you.
Get out of here. Thanks, Wrangler. Yeah, I also, they have this full report system now where you can uh, report for exactly what they were doing. So I also did that. Don't max cast. Does max cast do more rare? I mean, more wear razor? Interesting. I hadn't heard that. I shouldn't probably shouldn't max cast on this then. You need balanced oil. Thirty minutes, huh? All right, it's after midnight. I think I will not extend the ticket and we'll go back and see how we did for the day and then I, I'm going to take a quick bio break and then I got to decide if we're going to um, fish here for another day or, or maybe move to Sura and try the uh, big heads and silvers. That sounds fun but I think we did pretty good here. This was actually a lot of fun. And I really haven't caught many trophies at Arch so it's I probably should spend more time here at least at some point. Um, he was, I think he was, Ziga was talking about the repair cost of the Triumph. The, the, the more expensive reel it is, typically the more expensive the repair cost, repair, repair cost are, right? We should see what the weather at Sura is coming up. Compared to here. So Ladoga, ooh, yeah, I'm gonna stay here for one more day. Even though it's saying rain, it's not too windy and it's a little cooler. But unfortunately, tomorrow is also the better day at Sura. That's a pretty low temperature for Sura, but if it's been going good anyway, standard temp should be fine, right? What, what am I doing? That's not the cafe. All right. We did not catch five smelt. We did catch one giant ripus, but only one. Look at these terrible cafe orders. That's all right. Let's see what it's worth just in regular fish market terms. Woo. For me, I know some of y'all know how to make silver like crazy. For me, one hour of fishing, a little less than an hour of fishing, that's insane. Oh, 764. All right, let's, let's keep anything over 20. Let's keep and let's sell the rest so that we have room in our net, but also so that we can have a giant net. 
We can have a fake giant net the next day. You were very close. If you guessed that beforehand, Razor, you were very close. Um, so I have a one day. If we ran into an emergency, I'd have to use a two day. I'm trying to decide. I think I want to buy another one day as a backup. And not use the two day when we're probably not going to stay for the second day after that. Yeah, everything sells good here. Honestly, you make a lot of silver here, which is good because the boat's expensive. That's awesome, Ziga. That is awesome. All right, I'm going to take a quick bio break. I'll be right back. 